Good morning, everyone. Lovely to have your um, company this morning. Let's start by Namaskari, tying up our Kundalini and putting ourselves into Bandhan. Jai Shri Mataji. Let's just take a moment and um, within our hearts thank Shumaraji for all that we've been given. I'm now going to play the three Maha Mantras and please join in. Mataji, please bring our attention into our Sarastrara and above. Thank you for gracing us with your presence this morning. Thank you for your vibrations this morning and each and every day. Let's do a mantra to Sri Ganesha. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Ganesha Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha
Let us pray that our Muladhara Chakra is strong, pure, innocent, wise, pure of heart, pure of mind, and that it fully establishes within us And that this innocence, wisdom and purity is enlightened within us on each and every chakra. Very nice. We're now going to listen to the Sri Nimala Chalisa. struggle with that. Let's just keep our attention, of course, on our Sastrara and back to the music. Thank you. 
Absorb those vibrations. We're going to listen to a puja talk. Um, it's a Sri Adi Shakti puja talk from 1997. Today, we are going to do the puja of Adi Shakti. <coughs> It's a difficult subject uh, to talk about Adishakti because it's not easy to understand that Adishakti is the power of Sadashiva. Sadashiva is the God Almighty. She is his breath, as they, some people call it. Some say she is the desire, and some say that she is the entire power of Sadashiva, and Sadashiva cannot do anything without her powers. The subject <coughs> has been described by many people in various books in different ways. But actually we need not go to the background of the creation of Adishakti. For that at least you need seven lectures. But we'll come to the point where Adi Shakti started working on this Mother Earth. 
the first thing is we must know that she created a kundalini in the mother earth itself and she created shri ganesha out of the mother earth it's very interesting so the mother earth becomes a very important thing for us if we do not know how to respect the mother earth we do not know how to respect ourselves the expression of adi shakti within you is the kundalini no doubt that is the reflection of adi shakti in you but the reflection in the mother earth is also expressed as you all know in different places different countries different cities as the manifestation of chakras and adi shakti creations it was very important first to create a very holy mother earth for human beings to be born on that so the reflection of the adi shakti as kundalini first was on the mother earth kundalini is a we should say is a we part of the adi shakti or we can say that she is the desire pure desire of the adi shakti so adi shakti is the desire complete desire of sada shiva and kundalini adi kundalini is the desire <coughs> complete desire of adi shakti now this one was first express in the mother earth inside the mother earth inside the mother earth the kundalini came up in such a way that it cooled down the inner part of the mother earth as much as it could and then it manifested on the surface of the earth as different chakras so its tremendous <coughs> similarity that we have with virata the mother earth and the human beings if all of them are being reflected by the adi kundalini so there has to be a great connection between them it is not understood by human beings how they are connected to this mother earth this kundalini passes through different centers creating different centers in the mother earth and ultimately broke through kailash and i don't know how many have you been to kailash you see tremendous vibrations flowing out of kailash now the way we <coughs> insult our mother earth what we are doing is we are insulting the adi shakti so many ways there are we should respect the mother earth i mean it was an indian custom to begin with when you got up from your bed and you touched the mother earth with your feet you have to say oh mother earth please forgive me because i am touching you with my feet all the <coughs> movements of mother earth are controlled by this 
inner Kundalini, which is the reflection of Adishat. The gravity that it has also is the manifestation of the Kundalini of the Mother Earth. Now why we are suffering in this beautiful planet because we do not respect what we have to respect the most. Mother Earth is to be respected, meaning what? Meaning that whatever is created on this Earth, by the movement of the Earth, by the sea, by all the elements has to be respected. Today's problem is pollution, all kinds of things people talk of. The reason behind it, people never understood the importance of all these five elements which are supportive of our life. So to respect the Mother Earth, people do Bhumi Puja. Many people, when they are building a house, they will do the Bhumi Puja, means they will respect the Mother Earth. Because if she is not being respected, maybe there could be an earthquake. Which means that this Mother Earth understands, knows and acts. It acts in such a manner that human beings don't understand why such things happen. Now we can say that in a place called Lapur, it was Sri Ganesha's fourteenth day and they had to submerge the statues into the sea or into the river, so they went all out singing, dancing. After coming from there, they all started drinking. And drinking is not liked by Mother Earth at all. If you are drunk and you are walking on the road, you fall down. It so happened with that drinking that a <coughs> big earthquake broke in and all those who were dancing with drinking, all of them were engulfed into that earthquake by Mother Earth. Only our center, which is there, was surrounded by a big gap, but nothing happened to our center. And not one single surge of wind was ruined by that. We can understand because we are surge of how the Mother Earth has acted to save those people who were surgeons. So the understanding of Mother Earth about saints is very great. She knows who is a saint. She knows the feet of a saint. And that's why, you know, so many things were created like Moses. He went to the sea and the Mother Earth came up for them to walk through. If all the Jews had walked, it would not have walked. But it was Moses and his saintliness that the Mother Earth herself came up and helped. In the same way, when Rama was building a big bridge between Lanka and India, the Mother Earth came up as a bridge. So we should not try to curse the Mother Earth for any mishaps on this earth. If people are saintly, they will be always protected by Mother Earth. Let's just collectively meditate and thank Shri Maharaji for
my heart for the Mother Earth and for everything that it gives us. Let's place both our hands onto Mother Earth and do the mantra to Sri Adi Bhumi Devi. Om Twami Vasakshan Sri Adi Bhumi Devi Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Mother Earth, please forgive me for placing my feet upon you each and every day. Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Please let my actions on a day-to-day -day basis respect all that you give to us. Shri Adi Devi Bhumi, <laughs> let us thank you.
for sustaining us each and every day. We'll do the last of the three great mantras. Om Twame Vasakshat Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Sahastrara Swamani Mokshat Pradaini Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Shumatiji, thank you for our collective meditations. Thank you for your vibrations. And thank you for this opportunity for us to grow through our collective meditations. Thank you everyone for joining this morning. If you wish to stay on, I'll just play music for a few more minutes. And um, those that need to go in your own time, just namaskar, type your kundalini and put yourself into bandhan and have a beautiful day. Jay Shumanaji.
thank you everyone for joining this morning. It's been lovely having your vibrations. And um, as I said before, I hope you have a really beautiful Himalaya day. Jai Shri Mataji.